All right, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you were able to enjoy your weekend, guys. This is the video I'm recording for Monday to kind of walk you guys through the week to help to explain what you are going to be doing on your live lessons and on your digital lessons. So everybody's on the same page and everybody understands exactly what we're going to be doing and exactly what's going to be going on. So on Monday, I have not gotten a chance to post it yet, but I will at least tell you, you have your iReady English Diagnostic and I will post that announcement for you guys to explain to you what you're going to be doing and the fact that you will be taking that on Monday for your all digital day. That is going to be the only thing you have to do for that day. All right. So you will see an announcement. You will see a post that will explain all of that. And it will be posted around the same time that this video is posted. So that is going to be what you are going to be doing on Monday. All right. If anybody has any questions, feel free to email me and I will get back to you guys as quickly as I can. On Tuesday, the live lesson, 929 and 930. Okay. We are going to go over and we're going to discuss classroom procedures. Now you'll do that in class. Uh, I don't have to take and kind of walk you through that because I will do that. And I'm not going to take the time to explain that really because I will do that on Tuesday and Wednesday, whichever days you guys are in school. Um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the fire drill procedure, the lockdown procedure. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the different areas around the classroom so you guys know where to look and where to find the homework assignment that you're going to be assigned so you know where to find the whether you owe homework or not. Uh, we're going to talk about the word wall in the back of the room so you know what that's all about, uh, the objective board that I have in the front of my room. So we're going to go through all of that and all of the different things that are in my room that are that will help you to stay organized and help you to keep track of how you're doing in social studies at that time. So we're going to go through all of that. And if there's time left, we'll kind of play catch up and just make sure everybody's on the same page from our couple of weeks that we were remote, all right? So that's the plan for Tuesday in class. For Tuesday and Wednesday, I should say, in class. For the digital day, what I am going to ask you guys to do is I'm going to ask you to pull up this set of Google Slides. That's actually the wrong digital day. I'm sorry, guys. That's Thursday, Friday's digital day. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday's digital day is actually in unit one. So that was my fault. Um, but you're going to go ahead and click on the 29th and the 30th digital day. Uh, it's under the topic unit one. So you're going to want to make sure you drop that down. You're going to open up this set of Google slides and this will give you all of the instructions you need. Now, while that slide deck is loading, the other thing I want to show you guys real fast is I want to show you that I have a set of instructions that goes along with this assignment. So if you take and read over that set of instructions, you're going to know exactly what the lesson is going to be about and exactly what we're going to be doing with that lesson. So just make sure you check those instructions and read over those instructions. The other thing I would like you to do, obviously, like I said, is make sure you open up this slide deck. And that's also going to tell you the objective, give you the agenda, and give you all the information that you need. Okay? So here is the objective. You're going to create your own account on Quizlet and then create a set of flashcards for our geography key terms. That's what I'm going to be asking you to do today. So as you can see, then we have the agenda for... Uh, those two tasks that I'm going to have you guys do. And on the third slide, this is going to help you guys a lot. It is a video explaining how to take and create that account on Quizlet and how to create your first set, your first study set, your first set of flashcards. So what you're going to go ahead and do, guys, I'm going to try this out and see how this works while recording this video. You're going to click play. You're going to click the play button and hopefully what should happen, okay, so okay it starts playing. Video for so we're going to go ahead and pause that real quick. 
Now, let's say for some reason that video doesn't load for you. It's not working. Um, it's not doing what it's supposed to do, whatever the case may be. Um, what you can do, it, if it's black, if it doesn't have the video, if you can't hear anything, you should be able to just click on that YouTube link right there. And what it'll do, and I'll go ahead and do it just to show you guys what happens. It's going to open up a new tab. And what it's going to do is bring you to that video on YouTube. Okay, guys. So this is an instructional video for how to create Letting, your own It's quiz kind link. of loading. So hang on, guys. There we go. Instructional oh. video for how to create your own Quizlet. There we go. So it opens up a new tab and it opens that video on YouTube. I've posted that video on YouTube. So you guys are able to access that through YouTube and all of that, which will make viewing that a little bit easier and it'll make it possible for you to view it if you're having a hard time viewing it on those Google Slides. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that I showed you what that looked like and showed you what would happen if you did that. So what I want you guys to do is I really want you to watch this video so you understand exactly how to create that Quizlet account and how to create that study set. That's going to help you out a lot. And once you create that, those two things, you'll be all set. You'll know exactly how to do it. And you'll kind of be all squared away with Quizlet and creating your own set of flashcards to help you review for any tests you might have or anything like that. So make sure you watch this video. You can pause it and at any point so that you can move at your own pace. So make sure you watch the video. We'll talk a little bit about this in class, but the easiest thing to do is really to watch this video so that you can take and really kind of make sure you're doing it, make sure you complete each step and it's done and you have your account created and you have your study set created. So that's what I want you to do for that. And then uh, once you finish that, you're going to take and make sure you finish the flashcards. Make sure they're done by Wednesday at 1159. Once they are completed, you're going to go into that assignment and you're going to click turn in to mark that it is done. And I'll talk about this to you guys and I'll make sure I mention it to you guys so that everybody knows how to turn that in and everybody's on the same page with how I'm going to do attendance for this and all of that. So... We'll talk about that in class and we'll go over that in class and make sure everybody knows how to do that. So when you take and finish this assignment, finish creating those flashcards, flash make sure you take and click, excuse me, make sure you take and click turn in. That'll mark that it's done and you will be able to um, show me that you've completed that assignment, you've accessed that assignment and you're all set, okay? So make sure that's done by the 30th at 1159. So that takes care of the digital days on 929 and 930. So the live lesson for October 1st and October 2nd is located right here. Um, and the live lesson we are going to do is we are going to go over latitude and longitude. We're going to talk about latitude and longitude there. Uh, we're going to have a little conversation about it using the introduction to geography slides. And then after we're done with the intro to geography slides, I have an extension that I'm going to want you guys to download. It is a battleship extension. It's a game. We're going to double check and make sure that that all works. And that's going to help us to better understand latitude and longitude. And we're going to take a second to um, play that so that you guys better understand latitude and longitude because based on some of your notes, I realized that some of you guys were having a little bit of a harder time understanding latitude and longitude. So I do just want to go over that and do just want to make sure I make sense of that and Battleship is going to help. So that's the live lesson. That's what we're going to do in class on that day. For the digital lesson, the digital lesson is located down where it says introduction in the introduction topic. This is really going to be the last thing that is posted in the introduction topic. Everything else from here on out is going to be posted in unit one until we finish unit one. But this will be the last thing that is posted in the introduction topic, just so you know, just so you're aware. So you are going to go ahead and click on the uh, digital lesson, 10.1.10.2 digital lesson, and you're going to open up these slides. You're going to open up this slide deck and the instructions 
for this lesson are going to open up for you. It's going to be a pretty simple, pretty easy digital day, guys. I just want to make sure I review the classroom procedures, as you can see uh, on where it says lesson uh, on these slides. I want to make sure I review the classroom procedures that we go over in class. So that is the plan for your digital lesson on 10.1 and 10.2. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and go to the agenda slide and it's going to tell you exactly what I want you to do, what the plan is for the digital lesson today, answering the Google form. The link for the Google form is right here. Okay. So this is still loading a little bit, but once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click uh, where it says click here to access the Google form. And then you're going to access the Google form by clicking on that link. The Google form is going to open up for you. It's going to be a review of classroom procedures. All of the questions are required. So you have to answer all of them in order to complete them. So you're going to need to tell me your name, tell me your email, uh, describe what you should do once the fire alarm goes off, uh, Describe what you should do once lockdown, once a lockdown drill begins. Uh, what is the homework board? What is the purpose of the objective board? What is the purpose of the word wall? Answer all of those questions and then click submit and you are done with this lesson. I wanted you just to review the procedures that we talked about in class on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you still have missing assignments, this would be a perfect day to make up those missing assignments. This would be a perfect day to email me if you have any questions and if you need help completing an assignment you're missing. So take advantage of today, take advantage of this day to try to get caught up and to try to make sure all of your work is in and you don't have any zeros. All right. So that is the plan for the digital lesson for October 1st and October 2nd. If any of you have any questions, also, and by the way, guys, um, one more thing before I end it, your homework for this digital lesson is to complete this Google form and to finish this Google form so that it is done and that you are all set and you're all squared away. Once you finish the Google form, please make sure you take and click turn in on Google Classroom and that will take and mark that you have completed that, you've checked the slides, you've done everything you needed to do, and that will allow me to mark you off for attendance, all right? So with that said, guys, if you have any questions, please send me an email and please let me know where you're lost, where you're confused. And I will take and make sure that I clear up any confusion. With that said, guys, I hope you have yourselves a fantastic week. I look forward to seeing you guys all in class on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in person and getting to know you guys and spending this time with you guys in class. So have a fantastic day, guys. Have a fantastic Monday. Good luck on your diagnostic. And I will see you guys Tuesday and Wednesday.